This is a Hot Pie Media Original. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Eric Quorum, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Michael Steiner. Dr. Steiner holds a PhD in organizational psychology, and he serves as the chief of staff at Southeastern University. Dr. Steiner is an expert on leveraging social networks and onboarding new hires, and he frequently guests lectures on team dynamics and strategy building. In this episode, Dr. Steiner explains how to create a successful strategy leveraging the same method used by the biggest tech companies in the world, the OKR. What he discusses is very practical and something you can implement now, either at work or in your personal life to accomplish your goals. But before we get into this discussion, please take two seconds and smash the subscribe button on whichever listening platform you are listening on, as this is one of the best ways that you can help support the podcast. But now it's time to lean in and learn from the best. Michael, we all have goals we want to accomplish, whether they're personal goals or their goals at work. But to accomplish a goal or any outcome, you need a strategy. Mm -hmm. So where would you suggest someone start when they're building a strategy? Like, how do you even start this process? Right, right. So at the end of the day, the strategy is about, strategy is about creating and curating your life so that you can say no to the wrong things and say yes to the right things, right? Too many people, when they approach strategies, uh, most of the time what they're being is actually opportunistic. So they call it on being a strategy, but all they're doing is they're just doing a bunch of stuff right? So they think if I can do, if I've got 20 options, I'm going to do all 20 options, right? And then in the middle of that option, C, B, and D pop up, well, I got to do those too. I got to hop on it. So for example, um, I know here's how it was for me in my life, my personal life with my health, right? So uh, for me, my health journey started where a month and a half before my wedding, I, my wife came to me and said, hey, we need to drop 10 pounds. Uh, we're going to do the whole 30. Never dieted before, never worked out. I said, all right, we'll just hop on and do the whole 30. Then for the next five years of my life, whenever I felt a little fluffy, I would do the whole 30, right? Not strategic, but I thought I was being strategic. I thought I was being healthy. Then I get a health coach. I get a fitness coach. They're like, no, here's the goals. Here's how we're going to test it. Here's the actions we're going to try. It um, re-changed my whole thinking on what it was to accomplish. And I realized I was just doing things. I wasn't being strategic. So you got to get you a tool a tool to help you say no to things so that you can say yes. That's what being strategic is all about. My favorite tool is called the OKR, and that's objectives and key results. I love what this I love one. About, I'm excited. Yeah, Keep yeah. Going. What I love about it, we talked about it the other day when we when you and me were hanging out. Um, but what I love about the OKR is it is um, flexible enough, right? It's open ended enough to where a guy like me, who I'm a little scattered brained, I may be on the ADHD spectrum. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed. I'm not (laughs) claiming that necessarily over my life, but I love doing a whole bunch of things. This gives me enough flexibility where I can experiment, right? Like I like to try a couple different things, but it gives me experimentation with a purpose, right? So Mm -hmm. now I'm not just trying things to try things. I'm trying things to accomplish a specific objective. So if if Q1, I'm saying that I want to grow my Instagram account and I'm going to try and just post three or four reels a day, right? I'm going to try that experiment. And I try that out for a Q1. If it worked, great. If it doesn't, the next Q2, I might try a podcast to grow my following, right? right. That works, great. I move on. Same thing with your personal life, right? With your finances, with your health. You can use these objectives and key results. And the way the objectives and key results work is you first put a um, what I call in the science, a qualitative objective. High performance isn't just for elite athletes or billionaires with unlimited funds. In my newsletter adaptation, I provide you with simple and efficient high performance tools and resources you can use to unlock your potential. And when you sign up, you'll receive my ultimate sleep cheat sheet, a simple guide for optimizing your sleep. So sign up now at www.ericcorum.com. Now back to the show. So something that's big, not measurable, aspirational, but it is descriptive, right? So it may be like, I want to increase my fitness, right? Not measurable, very qualitative. What is fitness? What is increase? All that kind of stuff. Then you attach a couple key results, which are quantitative. Okay. So I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to step 8,000 steps a day, and I want to drink a gallon of water. Now, 
whether or not those three actions are the right things to increase your fitness, you'll know at the end of the quarter when you do it and you reflect. And so it's got that natural built-in system where you try things, reflect, improve, try things, reflect, improve. So that's what I love it. I use it in our organization. I use it for me personally, and um, it's been a really great tool, but there's tools, all sorts of tools out there, right? There's so many tools to be strategic. The point is not which tool is the best tool. I like this one for that specific reasons. The trick is to find the tool that works for you so that you can get to that point where you're saying no to say yes. That's the yeah. end goal with being strategic. I love OKRs. I read the book, Measure What Matters. So if anybody yep. wants to really dive into it, read the book, Measure What Matters. But the thing that was really cool to me about this is, like you said, okay, I want to lose weight or whatever the objective is. You you pick your three key results, but the objective needs to be a stretch mm -hmm. objective. It needs to be mm -hmm. something. So like this was really started at Intel and you, mm -hmm. and I can see like now building technology products, why this is used, but it's something that will stretch you where if you accomplish, pardon me, 70% of that goal, that's a win. Yep. Yep. And then it's just a bet. Like, I think these three things, if we do these three things, it's going to give us the best opportunity. And it's really free. It's really freeing because like, if you yeah. do those three things mm -hmm. and you reach 50% of your goal, you're like, you know what? I did the three things that I thought I could recalibrate. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. really, really simple. And it's amazing that I, I did, it took me until I was 40 to hear about this. Right. And what I love about it is, okay, so I commit to doing these three things this quarter. And let's say I'm six weeks in and some other opportunity pops up that could right. accomplish my objective. I, now I have a system to say, no, I'm not doing that right now. I'm going to put it on the board because I'm going to focus on these key results to see how they're doing. Then when you start quarter two, it starts all over again. So then you could say, mm -hmm. all right, this one thing I discovered in quarter two, you know, this key result didn't work for me. I'm going to bring this one in now and let's try that one. And so it gives you, again, that system for saying no to something. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're committed to uh, gaining fitness by increasing your strength halfway through, all of a sudden somebody tells you about uh, a whole 30, you know why you're going to say no to doing the whole 30, because I'm trying to accomplish this key result. <laughs> I'll put that on the back burner, right? For another time, for another quarter, maybe, or maybe not. I'm talking to the fitness guy here. I'm not going to keep going down <laughs> the, uh, the metaphor on that, but that's, that's the, the brilliance of the OKR in really any sphere of life. I love it. So check out the book. Measure what matters if you want to yep. take a deep dive on this. And I want you to follow uh, Dr. Michael Steiner at Dr. Michael Steiner on Instagram or TikTok. His content is phenomenal. If you're interested in how to lead others or lead your be yourself better, you should definitely check it out. Thanks, Michael. Love the time together. If you found today's podcast valuable and you listen on the Apple Podcast app, would you please leave us a review and a comment? As this is one of the best ways that you can help support podcast. Thanks again for listening and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all of our other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home online at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.